Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know who I am, my name is Shook. I make uh, NBA DFS videos, show, um, NBA DFS, sports books, prize picks, all that stuff. Pretty much cover everything. Uh, this is going to be an NFL video for the slate for Monday Night Football. And uh, yeah, if you ever need to get a hold of me, you can get a hold of me on Twitter right here. Just message me. I reply to everyone. And then I do post all these posts on this sports book. People also post other content here. It's, it's a great place to be. Um, I just post some stuff here. That's pretty cool. Like I added here, I said uh, I was going to MME today. Some guys I'm going to be overweight to in stacks. Josh Allen, he nuked. Tua had a really good game. Kyler Murray had a really good game. Stroud did good. So pretty much all the guys I was overweight on in GPP say um, did good. And then you can ask me questions about the slate. Anything you need, I will always be around for you guys. So before we get into the breakdown, if you're interested in, you know, more in-depth content, sportsbook plays, prize picks plays, um, I give you guys core plays, private videos, um, cash cores, GPP cores, guys will be overweight too. Pretty much anything you need, I'll have that linked down below as well. So before we get into the slate, I, I know I've said that twice now. Um, we're going to go over my lineups from today. As always, I do show you guys my results every single day, so you can gauge if I'm a winning player or not. Didn't go too crazy on the showdown. I will show you my showdown lineups, though. But had a great day. Just magnificent day today. Um, I'll show you guys my afternoon cash lineup. I'll show you guys my main lineup. Then I'll show you guys what I did in MME today. Um, MME broke, broke a little bit even, maybe lost a little bit of dollars, um, but I can show you guys. So we'll go over uh, MME first. I just entered the mini max. Uh, I haven't MME in a while, but all my top lineups were a rich lineups. I was actually um, even to the field on a rich, but I had a ton, a ton, a ton of Alec Pierce, which I didn't even mean to have. Um, he just fit my a rich stacks that worked out. Um, basically guys that I wanted to be overweight to today were, um, I had a ton of John Robinson. I had a ton, a ton of Alvin Kamara. I had a ton, a ton of Kenneth Walker. I was way overweight to Jalen Waddle, way overweight to, um, who's the other one I was overweight to? Uh, I was overweight to Zamir White, um, Joe Mixon. I was overweight to, that was nice. James Connor. I think I was about even. Um, Yoshi, I was way, way overweight too. Um, had him in pretty much most of my lineups. Um, what else? What else? Tua, overweight too. Rashad White, kind of just let the opti do its thing there. It didn't have any too strong takes with him. I was underweight to uh, Javante. Jonathan Taylor, I took a way overweight stance to. That did not work out for me. And uh, yeah, I uh, had a decent amount of Baker Mayfield. So that was good. And uh, it Kind of get the point. So I uh, had uh, um, sprinkled in uh, some McMillan. I actually, um, in my Discord, talked about McMillan um, for a little bit. That a little bit lucky there, but that worked out too. So let's go over my cash lineups for today. So this is afternoon cash. I, I, I felt like both the cash lights today were pretty straightforward. Um, afternoon, I mean, Jane Daniels was a lock at um running back and then or quarterback and then i was deciding on i, I think you know cd lamb was a must for me chris goblin a must for me palmer uh, was clearly one of the better value plays in the slate zach Ert, Ertz was probably the best tight end point per dollar play on the slate rashad white was lock charter's defense was the chalk for me in, in afternoon and then there was really one decision point for me and that was jerome ford or javante williams i went with the uh, javante williams um jerome ford just clearly outperformed him um, and, uh, yeah, Mike Evans had a good game. I did not have him. Terry McLaurin was another decision point. I was trying to fit Terry McLaurin, but, um, did not go that route. So that worked out. That helped a decent amount. And, uh, yeah, let's go over main slate. So main slate was good as well. Uh, there were two lineups I was considering, actually three lineups. So this is the lineup I went with. It was Christian Kirk, Kyle Pitts, Yoshi, Drake London, Tyreek Hill, Evan Kamara, Rashad White, A. Rich Chargers. The other lineup I was considering was just Commander's Defense and Malik Neighbors over Christian Kirk. And there was another lineup I was considering that had, um, what was it? Justin Fields. I want to say Justin Fields. Rashad White, Alvin Kamara, 
Kenneth Walker, Kyle Pitts, Yoshi, Tyreek, and someone else, I want to say. I'm not entirely sure, but great day overall. Hopefully you guys had a good day, and let's just get quick into this. I'm going to go over this really, really quick, guys. It's been a really long day, so I'm going to try and you know go over this, get us out of here very, very quickly. All right, so let's go over the Jets. Jets are probably my favorite team to target on this slate. Um, to be honest, they have the better matchup. Uh, San Francisco missing some pieces in the secondary as well. Um, so they definitely have the better spot here. One thing I do want to note here is Mike Williams. I'm expecting him to be on some type of snap count. Um, so just be a little bit careful there. Might drop down the ownership, but going to be just more of a large field GPP play for me. But Brees Hall, I absolutely love at 10.2K. You're going to have to make some tough calls because Christian McCaffrey fading on a showdown slate. I never do that, but you're going to have to make some very, very tough calls with the pricing. Um, both above 10K. I would say Brees Hall is probably a little bit too cheap. CMC, he's just a unicorn. So love both the running backs here. Really like Brees Hall. I think he's going to have a really, really good year this year. The usage last year, just absolutely, absolutely good. Involved in the passing game, high floor, high ceiling. Um, really like Brees Hall <clears throat> at that price point. Garrett Wilson, I think is good too. Like if I had to pick a wide receiver on this slate, it's very, very clearly Garrett Wilson for me. You have Brandon Ayuk, who's going to be playing outside, has the toughest matchup he'll probably ever face um, this year. So, yeah, Garrett Wilson should be targeted a ton, has a lot better quarterback play than he has in recent past. So he should have a huge target market share on this team. Probably like, I don't know, I want to say like low 30s, I want to say. Excuse me. Um, low 30s, I want to say. Um, should be just a volume monster here. So I'm really, really high on both Bruce Hall and Garrett Wilson. Aaron Rodgers looking at both the quarterback's price points. They're, they're cheap. I, I don't know what. DraftKings is doing with the quarterback price points, but the over under for this game, it's a super low total. I want to say it's like 42 and a half, somewhere around there. Uh, 43 and a half, so a super low total. I don't know if necessarily both quarterbacks are going to absolutely have a ceiling game on this slate. I kind of have a tough time seeing that, but the price points, quarterbacks, they have high floors, right? I just don't know. Given the matchup for both sides, especially like a Brock Purdy, I don't know if they have the ceiling on the slate for them to both be optimal in the same lineup. You could definitely play both together. I think I'm going to go about the slate probably playing just one of them. I think that's the best way about going about the slate. I looked at some builds. I think that's also the best builds or just one of the quarterbacks. I do prefer Brock Purdy to Aaron Rodgers, if you ask me straight up. Um, contrary to uh, what I said about the Jets being my favorite team, but I do prefer Brock Purdy to Aaron Rodgers. Then we get on to Mike Williams. So like I said, I think he's going to be on some type of snap count, so I'd just be careful. Um, you know, if he's going to be on the snap count, then he's just overpriced at 6.6K, um, but you'll probably get him at lower ownership. We know Mike Williams does have a ceiling. More of just a large field GPP dart for me. Greg's are lined 4.4. I think the kickers are good values on this slate, right? Um, lower totals means if the game's lower scoring and the kickers score, let's say, like two field goals, a couple extra points, there's a way higher chance of them being optimal instead of on a slate with like a super high total, a ton of points are scoring. So a ton of the position players are scoring a ton of points. So that's when it's better for kickers to be a bit more optimal that way on lower total games if the runout works where they get like, you know, like I said, two field goes, maybe a couple extra points, right? One or two extra points, right? And I like Tyler Conklin quite a bit. I think he's going to have to play a ton of snaps, you know, six, seven, 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 five, three targets. I think the matchup's fine. I think he's a good value as well. I think the value on the Jets is definitely better than the value on San Francisco. And another guy we'll talk about here is Xavier Gibson at 2.4K. I think he's a very solid value. So if we look at the depth chart, um, do I have the Jets up here? Um, you have Al Lazard, we'll talk about in a second. Garrett Wilson, Mike Williams, and Xavier Gibson. I think you'll see a fair bit of Xavier Gibson. I think he's good, but I think the best value on the slate, best punt on the slate, is going to be Al Lazard at $2,000. Really like him for value. <clears throat> I have a feeling he's going to be very, very popular. Um, he has had a good connection with Aaron Rodgers in the past. Um, so he looks like one of the better value plays on the slate. Um, Corley at 1.6K, if you want to throw darts, that's fine. And I think that's going to be it. Who's the backup tight end for Ruckert? I think there's other better value. 
I don't think I'll be going there, but yeah, I like the Jets. I, I definitely think they're probably my <clears throat> favorite team to target on this showdown slate. Moving on to San Francisco and the pricing here. So CMC is just a unicorn. Like, I just don't fade Christian McCaffrey. Um, now, he has been dealing with injuries. Of course, it's Christian McCaffrey. He's always injury prone. I um, believe he's been dealing with an injury from last year and over the summer. <clears throat> but yeah, absolutely love Christian McCaffrey. I don't think we need too much explaining there. And then I hate Brendan Ayuk. Um, if he gets there tomorrow, that's fine. But he is just an absolutely abysmal matchup on the outside going up against the Jets. Um, really don't like him. I'll probably fade. He'll probably get there. That's fine. But if he's popular, I'm. 100% fine feeding Brendan Ayuk. Um, Debo Samuel, probably my preferred pass catcher for the San Francisco 49ers. think he's okay. He's a fine pivot off Garrett Wilson for me, but I'd much, much rather play Garrett Wilson. And George Kittle, I think you always have to have interest in on showdown, right? He is slate breaking upside. He's 7.4K, so you're not getting him at a discount like you have on past showdown slates compared um, to this one, but I still think he's firmly, firmly in play for GPP. It's always like playing Kittle, right? Um, you're going for first, not last, right? He is slate breaking upside when he goes for those like two to three touchdown games, right? Four catches for like 50 yards. So yeah, like George Kittle and GPPs, definitely I prefer him to Brandon Ayuk, honestly. Um, and then I prefer Debo Samuel to both. Both the defenses, I don't mind them. Um, 49ers, 5.2K. What's the Jets? Um, three point, I think Jets at 3.2K. That's a good value to me. I like that quite a bit. Um, so I think both the defenses are good plays. Prefer the Jets to 49ers at that price point. Kickers we talked about. Juwan Jennings, I think I prefer, you know, like Al Lazard. Um, the other value we talked about, but he's in play. He'll see some snaps. And then Jordan Mason, if you think for some reason, um, Christian McCaffrey is going to be on some type of limit. He could be intriguing in large field GPPs if you want to go that route. I think that's fine. Um don't mind that. I don't think there's anyone else I need to mention here, though. I think that's going to be it, guys. Like, correlation stuff, just remember. Um, like I said, I think the kickers are good values on this slate. So if you're, like, playing Aaron Rodgers, remember, kickers do correlate well with the quarterbacks. If the quarterbacks are scoring points, your kickers are scoring points with them. Just make sure, you know, if you're playing Aaron Rodgers in the captain, we are always going to be pairing him with two pass catchers, so like a Garrett Wilson and Al Lazard. I think it would be my favorite pairing. And then obviously, of course, you guys know this stuff, but like we're playing Garrett Wilson, we're playing Aaron Rodgers with them. You just got to think about like game script stuff. Make sure your lineup tells a story, correlation stuff. So like, okay, maybe the Jets go up early, right? What do you want to do? Okay, build a lineup. I don't know. They're like Brees Hall in the captain or something. Maybe they run Brees Hall into the ground. Um, go with like San Francisco. Like maybe throw like Christian McCaffrey or one of the pass catchers with like a Brock Purdy in there, forcing San Francisco to throw the ball, right? Um, just be wary what you do. <clears throat> it's very important for um shut on slates. And I think that's gonna do it. So just recapping, I, I would say my favorite plays in the slate, probably gonna be like Christian McCaffrey, Brees Hall, Garrett Wilson. Uh, not going to include the quarterbacks. Um, Al Lazard, definitely. I like Tyler Conklin quite a bit. Um, I think those are my favorite plays point per dollar on the slate. And then if you want to throw like Debo and those guys in there, I think that's okay. So, all right, I'm going to get out of here. Sorry for the quick video. Hope you guys had a great week one. And I will talk to you all on Wednesday night for the Thursday slate. So, good night.